and today we're taking a look at how to replace an electrical panels circuit breaker. Always remember, safety is our number one goal. And this is what you're gonna need for today. A non-contact voltage meter, a multimeter, a needle nose plier, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and you might need electrical tape and or label tape. And most importantly, your circuit breaker. So you already diagnosed that you need a circuit breaker change, either because your breaker overheats, it trips too low, you hear a buzzing sound, it just stays open, or it doesn't wanna trip when it needs to and you took that multimeter and placed it in every wire you could find and now you know it's a breaker now let's go ahead and tackle that breaker all the way to the end zone the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open that panel and once you do that you're going to verify the information of the panel like the brand the series the model number any information that's going to lead you to the correct circuit breaker now we want to locate the bad breaker and compare it to the new breaker we want to make sure we have the correct breaker now we could proceed to turning off the main breaker in this case is located right in the panel if your main breaker is not located in the control panel you might want to check any adjacent boxes or any panel that's located in the exterior of the home. Now let's go ahead and remove the screws from the panel. You want to remove the panel upwards to avoid any pulling or dragging. For extra safety measures, let's go ahead and turn off every breaker on the panel because you don't want accidentally to bump into any of them when moving around the panel with your tools. Now with the non-contact voltage detector, we could verify the screw that locks in the wire that goes to the breaker. If the device does not detect any live wire, the light and the ring won't turn on. If it does detect the live wire, then both the light and the ring will turn on. And here is an example by turning the breaker back on that means you don't want to touch the screw you want to make sure that there's no electricity coming in contact with the screw and now for our double safety test we're going to use the multimeter to verify that no electricity is coming in contact with the screw and we do this by placing the black probe on the panel to get ground and we know we could use the screw hole because that's where we unscrew the panel and now we place the red probe on the screw from the breaker so if we get a zero reading that means we're good no electricity is coming from the screw but if you do this test and you do get a positive reading then that means it's a no-go there's electricity on the screw now that we have done those two tests now we know that we are safe to work let's go ahead and label the wires so we won't get confused when putting them back and this does make life a lot easier the last thing you want to do is guess to make life easier again, let's go ahead and open all the screws on the breakers so we could be ready for the cables. We're going to start doing them one by one. So as we take out the wire, we place it in the new one. I like starting with the big ones first. And remember when screwing the new wire to the breaker, you don't want to let the plastic part, the rubber part, touch the screw because if at any time overheats, that's going to melt and that is a fire hazard. So that means you only want the wire itself to touch the screw. Once you put the wire on the breaker, you want to make sure you have a tight fit and you want to verify that by pulling on the wire. So like that, you would be sure that the wire won't come loose at any point. If you only had a single breaker to change, that means you're done. But if you have a quad system, like in this this case now you want to repeat the process for the remaining three or the remaining amount that you have and now let's go ahead and remove the damage breaker from the panel and you do that by pulling out from the right side of the breaker to the left side where the wires are located and then you pull out if you need any help you could use your flathead screwdriver it could be of assistance as you can see, our breaker was damaged. Now let's go ahead and place our new breaker on the panel. And this time we're going to start from the left to the right and then push in. And what we're doing there is aligning the pins with the slots on the breaker. Now that you manhandle that panel box like a boss, now we could go ahead and put the door back in the panel. And then after that, we could turn on the breakers and verify that everything's working well. Don't forget, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our last video.